Hi guys, Knife Detector here and I am psyched and I'm going to tell you why I'm psyched. It is because I got an email today from D's Knives. D's Knives sent me an email and he just lifted me up. Uh, thank you my friend, you don't know how badly I needed to hear some cool news. Uh, I was having a very difficult day at work. I've had some issues stressing me out at home. I'm not going to go into details, but, uh, but you know, my parents are up there in their years. My dad is 82, my mom is 82, and it's, uh, it's uh, becoming apparent that they're going to be needing a little bit more help. And so, to make a long story short, I had a lot on my mind lately, and I really needed to hear some awesome news. And then I get an email from these knives and partner thank you so much i haven't opened this yet i just took off the label we're gonna see what's in here if you see my hands are a little dirty it's because i was out doing yard work right now um about a month ago i guess uh i had mentioned in a youtube video that i was looking for a knife sheath and and then uh these knives sent me an email and he said Hey, bro, I have different kinds of sheaths, you know, or he even said I could pick one out from Smoky Mountain Knife Works and he'd get it for me. I thought, man, that was so freaking cool of you. I mean, how generous is that? He's just a great guy. And uh, I told him, no, man, that's OK. Uh, you know, I'm going to hold out. And I'm going to wait. And then he asked me if I wanted to pick out a knife. And I said, you know what, brother, whatever you want to send me is fine. I am not picky. I'm just blessed, you know, I'm blessed to have, you know, him as a friend. I'm blessed to have uh, you guys in the YouTube community. And and he said, cool. He said, I, I believe he said, okie dokie <laughs> and uh, something like that. And uh, so I got a package today and he sent me the tracking number. And when I checked the tracking, it said it was there available for pickup. So I'm excited, you know, I'm excited. And whatever is in here, I'm blessed to have it. Um, I am very grateful, whatever it is, you know, and so thank you so much, partner. I, I very much appreciate your generosity and uh, let's get to it. I'm going to use this Russian sapper knife to open it. Man, this knife is fantastic. I've been using this, uh, doing some pruning and cutting some weed eater, uh, cable and all kinds of stuff with this thing. This is just a great all around knife, right? And, uh, man, it's just a rugged, rugged knife. So, you know, I'm very blessed, very blessed to be a member of this community uh, where you guys are so generous. And and I want to say thank you to all of you guys and to D's Knives. You know, guys, if you have not checked out D's Knives, you got to check out that brother's channel. You know, I mean, uh, he's like a brother from another mother. You know, he's awesome. You know, he's awesome. And he does these awesome giveaways, too, in his channel. Uh, really cool giveaways. And he uses his knives, too. If you check out his channel, you can see he puts them to use as well, you know. And I just want to say that I'm blessed for whatever is in here right off the bat, you know. Even if it's a grilled cheese sandwich, I am blessed. Because right now I haven't had dinner, and I'm thinking of dinner. So I'm hoping Mama's going to bring something home a little later. Let's see. Ooh, a burrito! Cool, man. Is this a burrito? Did you send me a burrito, brother? I hope so. No, it's not a burrito. It's something just as good. Oh, man, it's a case sheath. Look at this beautiful case sheath. Yeah, we have been talking about this one. Look at this beautiful case sheath. You know what? I bet I know which knife is going to fit here just perfectly. Dude, that's going to be perfect for my full-size sodbuster that I have. I am going to train this this knife sheath to fit this sod buster. That way I can carry this sod buster horizontally the way I love to carry it. Thank you, brother, appreciate it. Man, this is gonna be perfect, look at that. It's as if this sheath was made for that sod buster. Perfect, thank you, bro. Wow, and th that, that would be fantastic if that was just it. Oh my word, you, you, you did not, you did not just send me what I think you just sent me. Oh. Okay, you're trying to give a brother a heart attack, right? You're trying to give a man a heart attack right here is what, what's happening, right? Is that what's going on? Whoo! Okay, guys, let me catch my breath here for a minute. I cannot believe Danny, you sent me one of these. I have just been looking at these last night. 
uh, on eBay, thinking to myself, oh, maybe I should modernize a little and trying to get uh, Kaiser into my lineup here. And I thought, oh my Lord, and then here you go, sending me this. Uh, uh, wow, that's amazing, buddy. Uh, woo, if it's in here, I'm totally blown away. I mean, this awesome sheet that goes with my with my uh, Sodbuster would have been just perfect. I would have been just very happy. Just if that's all I got, I would have been like, yes, Christmas came already. But you sent me this, okay. So let me just say, no matter what's in here, I'm already totally impressed and, and I'm very grateful for whatever's in here. Even if it's like not a Kaiser, whatever it is, the box is pretty cool. Let's see, let's open this thing up. Man, look at that. And I got some packing peanuts to boot. Yes, packing peanuts, all right. For future reference, I also like regular peanuts as well. Let's move this aside, oh man. Let's see what we have here. Oh, dun, 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 dun. Oh, my Lord. Oh, are you kidding me? It even has the paperwork still. Wow, look at that. Oh, my Lord. Look at that. Look at that little beauty. Hey, that looks a little familiar, Danny. Let's see. Hmm. What's in here? Kaiser. And then it shows when they're making the knife. That's pretty cool. We got some interesting information in different languages. Wow, I'm gonna read that later. It says each component of Kaiser products is engineered and machined to the finest tolerances. All final assemble, fit and finish, finishing and sharpening are performed entirely by hand. Wow, this is awesome, buddy. I, I can't even, I don't know where to start. Oh, look at this. There's even, a little polishing cloth that says Kaiser. Oh, this is really great. I can probably use that for my eyeglasses too. That's awesome. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you, hermano. Thank you. Let me see this. Let me see. Let's take a close look. Ooh, here's the clip. If I want to, I can put this clip on right here. Oh, look at that. You got some blue Loctite on the little tiny screws that are in there. Look at that. Wow. Let's see what this is. Oh, man. Wow, this thing looks untouched, Danny. This thing looks brand freaking new. A little bit of jimping right there. Oh, the moment of truth. Oh, let me do this side. Left-handed, left-handed. Bam! Look at that. Kapow, brother. Let's see that again. Oh, man, just smooth. That is smooth as silk. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that beautiful blade. See that tiny little curve right there? So it's like a minor little hawk bill. Look at that. What a beautiful blade. You know, that, that that's such a beautiful interpretation on that blade. Wow. Kaiser does an amazing job. But you know what? This knife looks like uh, Danny did a video on it a while back. And he did a video where I think he did a swap. I think that this this uh these handles were originally on another knife if memory serves and uh i believe that uh he mentioned something about the the uh the clip the clip that maybe because of the tolerances or whatever but you know what I, I don't really mind anything about that honestly um this to me is about the size of a sunfish and i would love to pocket carry this just as i would a sunfish just in my pocket i would love to do that also, Danny probably knows that I sheath carry a lot of my knives, and I likely have a sheath to fit this bad boy too. Those are options. And the other option is that I slowly and carefully sand right here, this area, until I get those screws to fit. That's option B. And another option is that I buy longer screws <laughs> to fit through there. So those are all very, very good options, but that does not take away from the fact that I am very impressed and very grateful. Thank you, Danny, my man. That is gorgeous. Look at that. This is the Kaiser Lieb. Does it say Lieb in there? Lieb, there it is. Now I'm gonna have to look up what Lieb means. Hmm. I don't know what Lieb means. I'm assuming it's uh, something in German. But wow, what a fantastic beauty of a knife. I am so blessed, guys. I am so blessed. Danny, thank you so much, hermano. I appreciate it. Uh, fantastic. Amazing of you to do that. This is modernizing uh, my knife collection big time.
look at that look at that you see that how it starts off here it's it's kind of like a sheep's foot but it tapers down to like a minor hawk bill right here oh it's just such a beautiful design on the blade it's amazing and this size right here it's about three inches three and a half inches it's just perfect well i'm gonna have to do a more complete review on this later uh, but this is just a gorgeous knife. And I noticed that it's got this blue ring around here on the pivot. Uh, it's just really, really pretty. Just a gorgeous knife. Thank you, my man. I really appreciate this. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, wow. So, guys, if you get a chance, please, please, please go over and subscribe to Danny's channel. These knives. Not those knives. These knives. Not those. These knives subscribe to these knives i'm going to put his channel on my uh channel list on my main page of my youtube channel so check it out guys check out his channel click on it subscribe to it please you're talking about a great guy here he's almost at a thousand subs we got to get danny to a thousand subs and um i'm going to put his link on this video as well in the description so check out my man danny's channel uh, wow, so generous, Danny. Thank you so much. Uh, wow, I'm still I'm still kind of in awe about all of this. To me, uh, the sheath would have been fine because look at that. It, it's just it, it's like as if it's made for my sawbuster. It just grips it perfectly. And uh, this is my old sawbuster that I recently did a video on, and it just it's made for it. It's made for it. And I've already trained it a little bit to where yeah, it's already accepting the the sawbuster like as if it's just perfect for it i'm gonna put my belt through here and i'm gonna scout carry this puppy right here this is gonna be part of my weekend edc thanks to you buddy wow i am so very very humble thank you and very grateful thank you my friend i'm gonna have to decide if i'm going to sand it or i might just use it as is for now and then later on um off the top of my head i'm thinking of maybe cutting an emery board or some bits of an emery board and uh, cutting the emery board to where I can get this shape out of it and slowly sandy that down a little bit so I can get that thickness down. Yeah, because that is pretty thick and it looks like it didn't go down that far. So first I got to see how far the screws go down and then I would take a little bit of an emery board and slowly start sanding it. Yeah, not, not too quickly and not hastily. Wow, very nice. All right, hermano. Thank you so much. Uh, God bless you, my friends. Take care. Until the next one, take care, amigos.